This was Sue Lloyd Roberts doing what she did best. She'd sneaked through Syrian army lines to enter the besieged city of Homs in 2011. My guide equipped me with a fake local ID to get us past checkpoints and told me to pretend to be his deaf, mute sister, which suited me fine. Sue Lloyd Roberts, who began her career at ITN before joining the BBC, was an adventurer who specialised in getting into difficult places and uncovering abuses of human rights by repressive regimes. In 1994, she filmed this report on the human organ trade in China, describing prisoners killed to order for the body parts they could supply. Her report infuriated the Chinese authorities and she was sentenced in absentia to seven years in jail. It's believed hundreds of foreigners are coming to China every year for their kidney transplants to hospitals like this in Canton that services the Hong Kong market and that the number is increasing all the time. Sue Lloyd Roberts went to extraordinary lengths to get stories here in 1997 posing as a clothes manufacturer to expose abuses in Burma's garment industry. Less than one, two dollar in Myanmar. She reported regularly from the country over many years, covering the carefully controlled elections of 2010. This time, the generals have organised the elections according to the new constitution to ensure however people vote, they remain in control. What's the matter with you? The following year, Sue Lloyd Roberts got into North Korea. It's as if shopping for food is a state secret. Whenever I asked to go to the market, I got the same response. The market. There's, no market. There's no market here. She managed to get under the skin of the most closed country in the world. At school, children are taught to sing a song that tells them that they have nothing to envy in the outside world and that they are the happiest people on earth. For more than a week in North Korea, they invited us to indulge in the fantasy. But this year, Sue Lloyd Roberts became a story herself. Diagnosed with a rare form of blood cancer, she decided to go public. She recorded a personal video diary to attract stem cell donors, not just for herself, but for others who need them too. I'm getting very good at reading my, my blood counts now. It's funny how I knew nothing about haematology four months ago, and now I reckon I'm a bit of an amateur expert. During a remission in her illness, Sue Lloyd Roberts was back at work, reporting on the plight of Yazidi women and girls, taken as captives by ISIS fighters. The three girls are very beautiful, with an aura of sadness about them, despite their age, and a kind of deadness in their eyes, which isn't surprising when they start telling you what happened to them. Sue Lloyd Roberts was a campaigning journalist, who will be remembered for finding unique ways of telling stories of human suffering that might otherwise not have been told.